In order to protect athletes, Tech is studying one of our smallest features. When your eyes are working normally and you're following something across your field of vision, your eyes will smoothly track that. When somebody has a concussion, suddenly the ability to track that becomes very erratic and your eyes are having trouble focusing. So they move in very like varied patterns and varied speed. So we can pick up a concussion using the eye guide focus. Three, two, one. You see that white dot appear? Follow that with your eyes as close as you can. Got it. Huh? Your ability to follow an object with your eyes is called tracking. A concussion breaks down how your brain and eyes normally talk to one another, so smoothly tracking after a bad hit is difficult. That's what the eye guide focus records. Your results are taken before and after an event. So you can see in the blue was the baseline he did before the bout. The green was about five minutes after he had a, what we call a flash knockout, a very quick knockout. And this is a much heavier fighter who won, but if you notice, again, the blue is the baseline where you see a very smooth figure of eight, and the red is after the bout. It's a supplement to the physician evaluation and the normal criteria that we follow, changes in speech, memory, concentration, reaction time, and eye movements. Right now, there is no single diagnostic tool to determine if someone has a concussion. So doctors use a combination of tests, like asking you to repeat numbers or a phrase and checking your hearing and balance to figure out what's happening inside your head. After concussions and other mild uh, traumatic brain injuries, often the MRI and the CAT scans do not show uh, any pathology. And so we really are dependent on our clinical exam to understand where the problem is. And there are a lot of different ways to look at the uh, neurological function of the patient, but eye movements uh, are something that we can look at and quantify.